book loving friends welcome back to story time with mary this as i'm sure you're fully aware by now is where we get to read all of our favorite books and book lovers if you're loving reading along with mary don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together all the time and today we are going to be reading another book from our super wonderful author, Simon Rudd. And this is another one from the Moogs collection called The Rainy Day. Now the Moogs, there's loads of them. There's lots of different Moogs. Look at them all. You can investigate all of the different Moogs and find your favorite one. In the meantime, settle down and let's read A Rainy Day. This book is all about using your imagination when you are playing. Because sometimes you can't go outside because it's a rainy day. One rainy day, the three Moog children, Peanut, Butter and Jelly, all looked out of their bedroom windows and sulked. I wish I could play outside, sobbed Peanut, but we can't because it's too cold, windy and wet added butter we can't even play with our toys because some of them are so old they are broken sobbed jelly as she picked up one of her broken dolls from the toy chest suddenly their mother walked into their bedroom carrying some laundry my heavens children why are you all sulking asked mama moog we are miserable because it's too wet and cold to play outside and we don't have any new toys to play with, sobbed the three Moog children as they carried on watching the rain trickle down the bedroom window. Mama Moog placed the laundry on the bottom of their beds and smiled. Mama Moog was very creative, so she came up with a very clever idea indeed. She went downstairs and returned a few minutes later holding a big box of recycled material. Why don't we make some new toys to play with, said Mama Moo, as she placed the big box of recycled material in the middle of the bedroom floor. But it's just a box of rubbish, said Peanuts, looking very confused. Mm -mm, that's not true. With a little imagination and a lot of sticky tape, you can make anything, replied Mama Moo. Anything, asked Peanuts. Peanut rummaged through the box of recycled material and pulled out some old cardboard, silver foil and some tissue tubes. Then said, hmm, what can we make from these items? Mama Moog thought for a moment and then she replied, shall we make some shiny suit of armour? Peanut jumped up for joy and shouted, yes, please. Mama Moog helped Peanut in carefully cutting out some shapes from the cardboard. After Peanut had cut out some shapes, Mama Moog assisted him with folding the silver foil around each of the pieces. In no time at all, Mama Moog and Peanut had made a very shiny suit of armour. Thank you, Mummy. Now I can pretend that I am a brave knight fighting fire-breathing dragons. Off went Peanut, waving his silver foil sword around his head as he made swooshing noises. Butter ran over to the box of recycled material, pulled out some more cardboard, crepe paper and a ripped plastic bag and said, what can we make with these items? Mama Moog thought for a moment. Then she replied, shall we make a wizard's costume and cape? Butter jumped for joy and shouted, yes, please. Mama Moog assisted Butter with cutting some star and moon shapes from the crepe paper before gluing them into one large piece of cardboard, which she then rolled into a cone shape. Butter then glued on dozens of moon shapes on one side of the plastic bag and one large star shape on one end of a kitchen roll tube. Butter also tied some string at one end of the wand and at the other end of the string, she tied a colouring pen. In no time at all, Mama Moog and Butter had made a magical wizard's costume 
and a magic wand. So cool. Thank you, mummy. Now I can pretend that I am a magical wizard. Watch how I can make this colouring pen levitate off the ground, said Butter as she waved her wand high up in the air. Jelly quickly ran over to the big box of recycling material and pulled out some egg boxes, a large empty washing up bottle and a cocktail stick and said, what can we make with these, mummy? Mama Moo thought for a moment and said, why don't we make a rocket ship out of the bottle and a moon crater out of the egg boxes? Jelly jumped for joy and shouted, yes, please. Mama Moog assisted Jelly with gluing some card onto the bottom of the bottle before cutting out a little circular window in the middle of it. Jelly got some paint from the cupboard and began to paint her bottle red until finally it looked just like a rocket ship. Mama Moog made a little flag with the cocktail stick and glued it to the upside down X egg boxes. Thank you, mummy. Now I can pretend that I am a daring astronaut zooming around space in my rocket ship, said Jelly, as she ran around the room making rocket noises. Meow, meow. Peanut noticed that there were more recycled material in the big box said, and said, mummy, can we make more toys to play with? Mama Moog smiled and said, of course you can. All you have to do is use your imagination. Peanuts, butter and jelly ran towards the big box of recycled material and pulled some items out. With their imagination now awake, there was no stopping the three Moog children, Peanut, Butter and Jelly. Peanut made some race cars out of empty margarine tubs, Butter made a telephone out of some plastic cups and a string and Jelly made a very pretty doll's house out of the cereal box, complete with a table and a little cardboard doll. Jelly painted her doll's house yellow to match the family home. The next day, the three little Moog children, Peanut, Butter and Jelly, all looked out of their bedroom windows, saw that it was raining and smiled. Have you got any recycling at home? I wonder what you could make with all of that recycling. Book lovers, I'm going to give you a challenge to make something really, really cool out of some old bits of paper and cardboard. I bet you could have so much fun if you use your imagination. Okay, book lovers, I really hope you enjoyed that book and it's given you some good imaginative tips. If you love this book as much as I did, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos. And we'll read together again next time. Okay, bye.